This is a story about silk and milk. The silk is from golden orb weave spiders. There you go, pumpkin. They're incredibly inquisitive. They're a lot of fun. The milk from specially bred goats. Good luck trying to connect those dots. So what's the thread? There's a lot of interest in spider silk fibers because they're stronger than, than almost any other man-made fiber and they also are elastic. Because it's stronger ounce for ounce than other materials, there are many possible medical uses from artificial ligaments to sutures for surgery. So the question is how do you produce large amounts of the material? Spider farms just don't work. They tend to kill each other. So molecular biologist Randy Lewis figured out how to put the spider's silk-making genes into goats. What we did was put that gene into some goats in a situation where they would only make the protein in their milk. And when the goats have kids, and then they start lactating, collect the milk, and we can purify that protein in much, much higher quantities. With help from the National Science Foundation, <laughs> Lewis studies spider silk at the University of Wyoming. And so far, Lewis says he's seen no differences in the health or appearance of the transgenic goats. Good girl. Oh, come on. Come on. I know. You don't want to go down. Feeding and milking goats and wrangling spiders are sometimes part of the job. So we collect the milk out here, um, and then we take it back to the lab for processing. The silk we're particularly curious about is the drag line. That's the outside of the web. It's the strongest part of the structure. Chemical engineer Heather Rothfuss separates the silk protein from the milk. No arachnophobia for her. In fact, she's actually warmed up to working with spiders. I'm on the roll now, so it's collecting okay. Just four drops of protein processed from the milk can be spun into four yards of silk. Uh, so there'll be a lot of applications, eye surgery, plastic surgery, nerve surgery. The lab is also introducing genes into alfalfa plants. So how do people react to this tangled web of a tail? They understand that you can't just farm spiders, so you gotta come up with another way to make the material. No kidding. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.